What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a fun one. We are rocking out with a bunch of off meta Pokemon with this Altaria team that's featuring Ambipom, Gliscor, and Life Orb System. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Huge shout out to all the subscribers. You guys are the real ones. Definitely the real jeans fans out there. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview with Altaria right here. And Altaria is definitely a fun Pokemon. I chose a, this Pokemon to actually have some fun with it in today's video because it's just so cool. Definitely so cool. And it's actually really strong all around. It's dragon and flying type. We gave the Citrus Berry as item. We're rocking the Cloud Nine ability to eliminate all weather effects when this Pokemon is out on the field. And then it's rocking a move set of Tailwind for speed control, Dragon Pulse for stab, Ice Beam for coverage, and Feather Dance to drop physical attacks. So this Pokemon can legit take speed control, do some big damage, and then it can also take physical attackers straight out the battle by harshly dropping their uh, physical attack stat, which is absolutely amazing. So hopefully we get to use this Pokemon to its fullest potential and grab some wins with it. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Gardevoir over here. Not just any Gardevoir, truly Scarf Gardevoir. Works so well in this format. It really does. We'll be using it a lot. We'll be bringing it in in most situations and using it to its fullest potential. We got Moonblast. We got Psychic. We got Dazzling Gleam and Focus Blast alongside with the Telepathy ability. And last but not least, like we already mentioned, we got the Choice Scarf on this Pokemon. So it could be able to outspeed pretty much everything. Third Pokemon on the squad is lovely little Ambipom. Ambipom is amazing at control in the battle. It is super fast, hits like a truck with its technician ability, and it is great at fake out control for getting the battle started. We have the Silk Scarf as its item to make normal moves do more damage. We're rocking the technician ability to make weaker moves do more damage, such as fake out and double hit. And then moves that we are rocking is going to be fake out, double hit, U turn, and aerial ease. Love this Pokemon so much, gonna be using them probably in every single battle. <laughs> Fourth Pokemon on the squad is Glasgow. Glasgow is one of those Pokemon who are super, super cool and really, really strong once you get it set up. We got Swords Dance, we got EQ, we got Roost, and we got Facade. We are also rock rocking the Toxic Heal as its ability and then the Toxic Orb as its item. So at the end of its first turn out on battle, it's going to poison itself. And then due to its ability, instead of taking poison damage, it is going to get healed at the end of every single turn. So really cool Pokemon. Can stay in the battle really, really, really long when you put them up against the right Pokemon. Fifth Pokemon on our squad is Scizor. Life Orb Scissor, and I don't even think I have to say anything about it. This Pokemon is one of the strongest in this format, and every time I use it, it's pretty much the same because, you know, it's just so strong. Why would we change it? Why would we change it? Like I said, Life Orb as its item, we'll rock a technician ability, and then its moveset is fairly normal with the Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Swords Dance, and Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is my favorite Arcanine build of all time. This one right here. We got Flamethrower, Snarl, will o and Protect. We're rocking the Intimidate, obviously, as its ability. And then the item is going to be like Wild Berry to make this Pokemon stay in the battle just a little bit longer. Guys, here's the team right here. Cannot wait to get rocking with it. Let's hop in that Coliseum and look to grab ourselves some wins. First battle coming at you guys. And our opponent wants to do a little 6v6 action. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. He's got himself an awesome team rocking out with Azumarill. Wobbuffet, who is definitely scary. I do really not know what that Pokemon does. He has Breedloom, Swellow, and then he's got the Gengar and Infernape. Really cool Pokemon. Gotta lead Ambipom. Gotta lead Ambipom. Just such a good Pokemon. And I might also lead a Pokemon like Gliscor or Scizor. Just somebody who can set up here. Who am I leaning towards? Scizor could do some work. But I'm, I'm leaning towards Gliscor. Let's have some fun with this one. Let's go Gliscor. And then, you know, just bring the whole team in. The back, right? we, we have six Pokemon. It only matters about the first two that we choose. Then the rest, you just, you just start picking. You just bring them into battle. But yeah, this guy picked six Pokemon. It wasn't like four to six Pokemon. It was straight up six in the rule set. So let's get rolling here. Let's see what this guy's going to lead. He's going to end up leading the Breloom and the lovely little Wobbuffet, which I do not know what it does. Kind of scaring me. Breloom scaring me a little bit too. But uh, how should we go into this one? Pick out the Breloom. Set up a Swords Dance. Woo. We'll get cooking with that. I do kind of like that. We'll fake out Swords Dance action. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day, baby. We know Ambipom's fast on the field. Ambipom cooks. Super, super fast. Oh, of course, this thing has a quick claw. What is this about? What is this about? As I'm saying, Amy Palm's fastest. Oh, we'll pick it out anyway. Get out my face, Breed. Get out my face for that. He drops a quick claw. <laughs> Last group goes next, and we set up a lovely little swords dance. I'm with it all day. Okay, so from here, I'm thinking of just, you know, U turning and EQing, right? Sounds pretty good. Safeguard coming out here. I think safeguarding. Okay. It's fine. You can drop a safeguard. I'm not putting anybody to sleep or anything. We just let it set up freely. So now we have Toxic Heal. Procked out. We're Swords Dance up. I'm loving where we're sitting. I can U-turn here. And I'm thinking, will U-turn take this thing out? No, but EQ should be able to. So, you know, I'm just going to EQ. 
even though it's not very effective, and I'm going to U-turn out into my Altaria and try to take some speed control here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Big old U-turn. Technician U-turn. Swapping out. We're going to swap into Altaria, and we get a crit. Wow, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Yeah, this team, we're going to have some fun with it. I can already feel it. I can already feel we're going to have some fun with this one. But we're going to swap to Altaria now, just so, you know, my po my ally Pokemon does not get hit by We'll drop this little Cloud9. Let me get out the, the two lovely little Bat and Bird. Look at that Cloud Bird. Love Cloud Bird. He's going to drop here and does not take out the Breed. But still, this uh, Glassbird right here is built to be bulky, not a big attacker, which I absolutely love. Dude, what, did this guy just go for a Spore? Go for a... Oh my God. Never mind. I'm dead. I was not expecting that. Big time counter coming in. Oh my lord. Just absolutely dumped on me. That's all good. It's all good. I can just bring out you. I could definitely bring out you. Or I could set up a school or scissor. I could set up a scissor here. It'd be real nice. Thinking of doing. I am thinking of doing, but Gardevoir is probably our play. I'm gonna get out Gardevoir here. I'm gonna get out Gardevoir. 100 percent my play. Set up a tailwind, get out Gardevoir, we'll roll off from here. Wow, that was, that was actually crazy. That was actually crazy how much damage I think. That <laughs> thing just ripped into me, but uh, I'm going to choose into a Gleam here. I'm going to choose into a Gleam. I think we're fine with doing that. Pick up an easy double kill. I'm loving it. I think went for a Spore. It failed, and then he just countered me. Dropped my Glyscore. I was prepared to just run the battle with Glyscore. I was prepared to run the battle with Glyscore because that thing's so bulky. It's really bulky in at least a spe or a, the physical attacking side. And then that's why I have Swords Dance on him. That will boost his attack. And then he's bulky. Hits like a truck. Gets constant HP back with uh, Toxic Heal. And then we can always drop the Roost if need be. We just thrive with him. But dude, that thing just countered me and ripped into me. I'm a little upset at that. But that's the Gleam Pokes out from our Gardevoir. We take out both Pokemon. We set up a Tailwind for a squad with Altaria. And now we're thriving. Now we're thriving. If he throws out a physical attacker, which I'm hoping, I'm just going to Feather Dance drop that thing. If not, I'm just get on the attack board. Just start attacking. But we got some big damage rolling out. Really great special attackers. Really, really great special attackers. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. But if any of you guys watched my last video, YouTube cut out like the last little bit of it, which was annoying. We actually won that third and final battle. It was weird that they cut out that last little bit. He goes into Gengar, and I might double down just in case he sash, but uh, you know what? Nah, we're just gonna Dragon Pulse. Uh, do I have Dragon Pulse? I know this thing's physical attack, too. I'm just gonna Feather Dance onto that. I'm just gonna Gleam Across. Actually, nah, we're gonna double down to Gengar. We're double down to Gengar. Why did I think that uh, Gleam was super effective? I don't know why. Then I thought Dazzling Gleam was super effective to the Gengar. Do not know why. Weird, right? Weird, right? Gardevoir's gonna Gleam. These two are, well, uh, these two are kind of lightweight, so it does do a decent amount of damage. Altaria's gonna go next with a Dragon Pulse. Can this take out? We do him dirty, Altaria. That's some big old damage. Oh my god, Altaria with the crit! With the crit! We love it! We love you, Altaria! Cloudbird doing some work. Cloudbird definitely doing some work and a play rough's gonna fly. Eat us up. Nah, yo. Play rough from a huge power of Zoom Rail. Not happening. But yo, Altaria. Good work. GG's out there. Sets up a tail when picks up KO. We'd love to see it. Um, from here, I'm just gonna go Amy Pop. Love me some Amy Pop, right? I love or should I save my Amy Pop? Going to Scissor. Nah, I'm gonna save my uh, no. What do I wanna do? <laughs> what do I wanna do? You know, Amy Pop's a great call. Every problem you can't go wrong with, because this thing hits like an absolute truck, too. Hits hard with double hit. And it's fake out. There's so much damage. Did you see how much damage it did to the Breloom turn one? Great. But yeah, we got to fake out. Infernape, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to fake you out. And a Gleam is going to fly and do some work all around. And then I can pretty much solidify this battle, right? Battle's looking real good for me. Infernape comes out. Infernape seems like the only problem, but still, uh, my Arcanine can 1v1 that all. Fake out. Mwah. Look at that damage, dude. Have you ever seen fake out do that much damage? No. I bet you you never. You have never seen it. Aqua Jet flies through here. Gleam's gonna fly. Gleam might kill the Inferno, right? Beautiful. Beautiful. We love it. We love it. But yeah, dude, Ambi Pomp does way too much damage. It's ridiculous. This thing's gonna pop a berry. A little Citrus Berry action. And I'm guessing it was maybe had Belly Drum on it. That's why I was rocking the Citrus Berry. But it didn't have a chance to pop it. Safeguard's gone. It didn't even matter about Safeguard. But we're stupid. Wasn't like we were rocking like a Breloom ourselves. And then our opponent's gonna throw out a little bit of Swellow action. And I wonder how fast Swellow is. I mean, we have Tailwind up. This is good for us. This should be GG. We're gonna double hit and we're gonna Dazzle Lean. Probably take out Swellow and just do some damage on the Zoom route, but our opponent could cancel the battle here. But yes, sir, yo. 
Battle number one looking real good. We got Shelf Altaria a little bit. We got Glassicor in there who set up, who set up well, but of course Wild Fat and Counter. And we got the, the Amy Palm and the, the Twist Scarf. Gardevoir out here doing something. The double hit's gonna fly. We're only gonna have to use one. I feel like the other double hit should slide over. If you pick up a KO, you should punch the left one, slide over, and use this other one on the right one. That should definitely be a thing. Definitely be a thing. This thing drops a superpower. That's gonna say bye bye to Amy Palm. He takes me out, but it's gonna be GG's. It is gonna be GG's. All my Pokemon pretty much outspeed this thing. Except for gonna be Scissor, but in that case, I would just roll out into a bullet punch, you know? But it's totally fine. Just totally fine. We're going to, we're not even gonna use Scissor. I don't even wanna use Scissor. Scissor's so good, I just wanna win the battle without him, you know? <laughs> without using our best Pokemon. Timmy's gonna fly. Get out of my face. Your Aqua Jet is not KOing me. That little Aqua Jet is not KOing me, but we'll drop Flamethrower. And then we'll just stick with our gleams. Get out my game. Cancel battle, please. Let's not cancel battle. Let's for the aqua jet. We're gonna be able to eat up. Look at that. Beautiful eat up. Beautiful eat up. And Gardevoir's gonna gleam. Is that it? That is it. GG's 1 0 to get this video started. Winning our first battle. More importantly, it was a nice little 6v6 for you guys. Hopping into battle number two, and your boy was able to pick the rules this time. We picked 4v4. We getting it after it the normal way. 4v4 action going up against a Luxray Infernape team that also features Hitmon Top for Intimidate, Inner Focus Crobat for Speed Control, and then he has Clefairy and for support. And Kangaskhan, who is actually really strong. He's kind of like Amy Palm, rocks his Silk Scarf, does some big damage all around like that. So I'm going to leave my Amy Palm, just get a little bit of control early on in this battle. And then another Pokemon that I want to bring is probably going to be Altaria. Altaria's looking good. Altaria and, or not Altaria, Gardevoir and Scissor. Mm, do I lead the Scissor? Scissor could be a great lead to potentially Sword Stance set up here. I do like that, but say he brings in that, uh, that, what's it called? That Infernape has a lead, which is definitely a possibility. That could be tough. I mean, him on top might actually come out here for a lead, so you know what? Might just get rolling with Gardevoir as a lead. I really do like that for some reason. I really do like having that Choice Card Gardevoir just leading out there. We'll bring Scissor in the back and then final Pokemon. Let's go, let's go Altair. Even though Altair is not the best choice here, I like Altair. Altair is a fun Pokemon to use. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's go back to back for today's video and have our first 4v4. Have our first 4v4. Because the first battle, our opponent picked 6v6, and it went pretty well for us. We did well. We got out a decent amount of Pokemon. Got rocking out with that. We actually got out every single Pokemon besides Scissor. So in this battle, we're getting out that lovely red bug. That lovely red bug. Good old Scissor. Let's see who this person leads. And end up leading the Hitmon top, which I... That's exactly why I swapped out my Scissor for this card which is gorgeous. So he has Fake Out ready to roll. Uh, my Amy Palm fakes out faster, so... I don't have to worry about it. I'm just gonna drop a Gleam. Gleam in the Fake Out is my turn. This is exactly why I brought this Pokemon out there. I didn't want my Scissor to get intimidated. I do not really mind if my Amy Palm gets intimidated. Really not a big deal. But this is a great turn. A solid, lovely little turn for us. Unless Hitmon Top protects and he goes through Cross Poison. Then we'll be sitting there like, that kinda hurts. What did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say would be the problem? If this thing cross poisons into me, it takes me out. Okay, it's Tailwind. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And that thing outspeeds me. Wow. That's kind of nutty. That thing outspeeds my guard. Oh, no. Gardevoir already went. Oh, no, it didn't. Yeah, that thing outsped my Gardevoir. My Gardevoir's choice scarf, man. <laughs> it's in Cooks. It's in Cooks. We'll go for the Gleam again, and I, I think he's just going to dump on my Gardevoir here. I probably should have swapped it into uh, this Scissor at this point, right? Yeah, there's a crossbow. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I should have swapped him right into the Scissor. Right into the Scissor. But right into that gorgeous little Scissor. It's all coming all day. Any pop goes next. Double hits coming out here. Doing great damage. We love that damage. We love that damage from any pop. Close combat. We're dead. That's a double kill. No! Okay. How are we doing this one? Let's get air fist. Let's get air fist. We're fine. We're thriving here. Doing just fine. His defense is down. Uh, wow, that one hurts. That one hurts the soul. Should have swapped. I wouldn't mind if Amy Palm went down there. He would have been able to get his shot off, but still. It's tough. We gotta bring up both these guys. You have Ice Beam. You have Ice Beam. You have lovely Ice Beam. But uh, both ones should be able to do the trick. And I'm thinking from here... If Bull Punch can kill that, that Flappy Bat, we can set up a Tailwind of our own to get some speed going for us. Right? Because I'm thinking of just doing this. And then, just, you know, just Bull Punch dropping this thing. That's looking real good in my favor. But he might swap the him on top here. Might do a lovely little swap onto the him on top slot. 
My scissor, dude. My scissor came to play. But yeah, this battle is not over yet. We can definitely still get some work done here. I was thinking of Swords Dance setting up, but I have to get rid of this Crobat. I'm not trying to deal with it. Boss Poison's Brave Bird is really deep with So Bull Punch gonna fly here. Take it out, right? Get it out of here. Beautiful KO by us. And he leaves a hit my top in battle, which I do not mind. I do not mind him leading the hit my top in battle. Hit my top's probably gonna go next, right? To the Tailwind. And he's gonna drop a close combat here. Scissor says, yo, that's a tasty snack. We eat that up all day. Okay. So we eat up. This thing's defense is down in the dumps. It's minus one. It's minus one. And the Tailwind's gonna fly. Tailwind, yeah, yeah. Good, dude, good. All right, so Tailwind's out for us. Um, hmm, it's not playing out. He's gonna bring out Kangas Kong. Kangas Kong's ready to fake out. Kangas Kong is definitely ready to fake out. And in this case, you know what? I'm just gonna get off some damage on you, and I'm just gonna protect my bug. I'm protecting my bug here. Protecting my lovely bug. Hopefully, he's faking me out. That'll be great. He's gonna always protect Kangas Kong. We'd like that turn. We'd like that turn a lot. We'd like that turn a lot. He protects. I protect my scissor. I think it's hit my tops going into my scissor, right? Altaria goes first now because we set up our tailwind. And this should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Probably has a berry though, right? Berry popping. He's not berry popping, but close combat comes out here. And we know we outspeed that Pokemon now, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. And their tailwind is gone. If I can go here, which I could go into a feather dance here. Which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go feather dance and I'm gonna bull punch into this. Look at my play. He's gonna withdraw hit my top. Okay. The Witch all hit my top. We're gonna feather dance in this Kangas combo. Drop attack. Oh, and he goes into Clefairy. We like that. We like a Clefairy. We don't mind that. We do not mind that. Oh my god, we bring it down to one. Is this thing sashed? Not even sashed. That's rough. Feather dance coming out here. Okay, I'm liking this. Plays, the plays. We're gonna drop this thing's uh, physical attack, which is huge. And what's he gonna go for from here? Last resort. Let's go, dude. Feather dance doing so good. Feather Dance doing us so good. Uh, what do we do from here? What's our play? What is our play? Ice Beam should be able to take you out. And then I'm thinking of just dropping a X Sizzle over onto this thing. Just in case this thing follow me, I want my Altaria to go first. Yes, exactly. So Altaria is going to be faster than my Sizzle. Should be able to take out Clefairy. And then X Sizzle should be able to slide over, right? It's a gorgeous turn by us. We were thinking here. We were thinking. So Ice Beam takes him out. Scissor's going to be able to outspeed Kangas Kong here. Get off an X Scissor, which is going to do more damage than a Bull Punch. Just gorgeous. And how much damage are we really going to do? Solid damage. He's going to go down a Life Orb. Ooh. We don't have Protect. We don't have Protect. Which is tough news. And I'm just going to focus on him on top here. That's just we're coming in here. That does a lot of damage, dude. That does a lot of damage. But we do have the Citrus Berry. Who do I focus on here? Who do I focus on? Hellman's gone. Oh, that's tough. He's gonna he fakes me out. Ooh. Hit my top. I was back out. No! Dude, my boys almost clutch this one up. Look how close this battle is. Look how close this battle is. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, if we would have taken that thing out with a bull punch, that could have been good. It's gonna hit me here. Uh who do I KO? I'm gonna go for the Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan seems like it's doing a lot of damage right now. Fake out comes out. Yeah, we saw that coming all day. Last resort coming in here. Me alone, leave me alone, dude. <laughs> and that's gonna bring me down to 14. I flinch anyway. Wow, I flinch. The fake out, fake out, do me dirty. And then here comes a bullet punch. That is him, yo. What a second battle. What a solid second battle. If we would have swapped our uh, guard of war for scissor, we probably would have been sitting in way better positioning. But we came back. We came super close, but ended up losing. You know, one and one. Last battle, best battle, baby. We're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for a winning record for today's video. Going up against a raid team with Shed Ninja, and Shed Ninja's scaring me. That thing with the Wonder Guard, definitely scaring me. We're gonna have to bring in some Pokemon that are super effective up against it, like our Arcanine, and we have a coverage move with our Altaria. So, they're both coming in. They are both coming in here. Uh, how should I play this? How should I go into it? Altaria could get a lead here, and we could fake out early on and kind of roll out from there. I am kind of digging that. Fake out early on, roll off from there, bring Arcanine in the back end, and then last but not least, uh, bu -bu 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 -bum, Scizor, right? Scizor's just too good, right? Scizor, I'm liking Scizor. I'm liking Scizor. Lock him in, lock him down, let's get after this. We gotta bring Scizor, we gotta bring Scizor. It's an absolute must. It's Scizor, like, <laughs> you cannot not bring Scizor. Way too good of a Pokemon, but... Let's lock this one in here, and let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. We're sitting at one and one, so I want that winning record. I really do want that winning record. Let's see who our opponent throws out here. Paloops and Ludicolo. Surprise, surprise. Rain Squad coming out here. Um, could pick me out easily. I'm going to try to set up a lovely little tail here. 
Or squad. Lovely little tailwind. Drizzle's poking here. I would love to fake out the Ludi Ludi. Ludi Ludi Colo. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go for tailwind here. Try to rock into this little fake out action here. And chip up some damage all around. Hopefully he's not going for a fake out himself. Hopefully he's not doing that. Yo, did you see Ludi Colo? He fixed his little sombrero. His grass plant sombrero. Let's tilt it a little sideways. He like gripped it up and moved it the right way. He's going to protect Pelper. Wow, we like that. We don't mind that. We don't mind that. Because if I could fake out the U, that would be gorgeous. Oh, yes. Great turn for us. Fake out comes out here. That damage, dude. The clap's so loud, too. The clap. Slap right in your face. It's gorgeous. Now we got Tailwind set up. And my, what's it called, might be faster than that uh, Ludicolo. And if he is, yo, double hit could definitely take him out. I'm just going to drag him. I think double hit should be able to take out Ludicolo. No problem. I think it can. Ampipom might be fast on the field. Yeah, fix your hat, dude. You're going to need it. After we just slapped you in the face like that. You won't need it. Even though Ludicolo is such a cool Pokemon. What is it? Like a... A, a, a duck that celebrates Cinco de Mayo? <laughs> like something like that? <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. Like, it, it's a duck, right? Yeah, it's got a little bill. But yeah, it's a duck that celebrates Cinco de Mayo, dude. Dude just likes to party. Give this man a Corona. Give this man a Rona. He's gonna swap Pelipper. Who's he gonna roll out into? He's gonna roll in the Gastro. That's fine. Double hit's gonna come through here. We do outspeed, and it is going to be able. Never mind. I was gonna say it's gonna be able to take out this Ludicolo, but of course this thing's rocking a Citrus Berry. What Ludicolo rocks a Citrus Berry? I'm a face. Big damage. Big damage. Dragon Pulse is gonna fly next. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Dragon Pulse comes out here. Rocking Storm Drain Gastro. That's going to do some nice damage. We like that damage. This is going to surf. How dare you? How dare you pull that? How dare you? He pulls out a surf and chips up some damage. That's fine. So Gashon's sitting here plus two on uh, special attack. And we're going to have to take you out right now. So I'm going to take you out knowing that we outspeed him. And I could hard swap out. But nah, yo, Amy Pom's doing some work. I'm just going to allow him to just start slapping with these double hits. Slap with these double hits. I'm worried about the what's it called. I'm super worried about the Shen Ninja in the back end. So if I can keep my Arcanine, that'll be fine. That could be fine for us. Let's see. We should be able to take out Ludicolo easily with the Dragon Pulse. And then double hit should come out here. But he's just going to withdraw Ludicolo. Go back into Pelper maybe? Or show his final Pokemon? I don't want him to show his final. No, he goes to Pelper. He goes to Pelper and he's going to protect. That's fine. He protects the Gastro. Double hit's going to fly through here. And we're going to be able to drop a nice little Dragon Ball. So we get off a free turn here. A free little Dragon Ball. So we get out of this turn. Just solid. Because look at that damage. Oh, look at that damage. We can do the same exact thing. Dragon Pulse can take out Pelipper. Double Hood can come across. Do some damage onto Gasha. We like that turn. He's going to protect. That's fine. That is fine. I do not mind. I do not mind you wasting turns like that. Any going to double it. I think he's trying to waste out Tailwind. Bilp and Bilp. Solid damage. What's Gasha going for? Gastro, what are you going for? Gastro, what are you going for? I don't see Gastro taking out my Altaria. I guess it's plus one, but Altaria should be fine here. A Blizzard. Altaria dodged that. We like that. Amy Palm's probably dropping here, right? Or can you eat it, Amy? No, Amy Palm drops. I'm fine with that. That's totally, that's totally cool. Dean's cool with that. My Tailwind's gone. Uh, bring out Scizor, right? Yeah, I'm going to Tailwind. I'm, I'm going to set up another Tailwind. I am going to set up another Tailwind. I'm gonna blow punch into the Gastrodon. And if he wants to protect, he can protect. That's totally fine. We'll set up this Tailwind all day. I could actually protect him, but uh, blow punch should do enough damage, or should I? What do I do? I think blow punch should be able to do enough damage to take out Gastrodon, but I think Gastrodon protects anyway. You know, withdrawal. That's I'm fine with that, dude. <laughs> Let me set up Tailwinds. And he goes and shows his final Pokemon, and it is gonna be Umbreon. That's fine. He protects him. I'm, dude, I'm so fine with that. I'm so fine with that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. He shows his last Pokemon. It's Umbreon. I do not have to worry about the Shen Ninja anymore, which I really like. It's huge. That's a huge plus for us. But he still has all of his Pokemon in the back end. They're low HP. I can go into a Dragon Pulse here, finish you off, and then I can just, you know, do one of these in Umbreon. Do one of these. An X Scissor from Scissor. That's super effective. And Life Orb. Mwah. Mwah. We love it. This guy's just hard swap king, dude. Hard Swap King thinking it's doing something. It's not. Your po any Pokemon that comes in here is dead. I think he just wants to get the rain going again. 
save his gas shot for a little bit, but it's all good. We're gonna be able to drop a dragon pulse. We're gonna say, hey, yo, Paloops, get on out my game. Not dealing with it. You're dead. Pelper's dead. We take him out, no problem. I'm sorry, I do like Pelper, but I had to kill it. I had to kill it. X is gonna fly. This might KO down, Brown. Fight. Of course it's gonna KO them. Get him out of here. He's gone. Dead. Gone. Out of my face. Out of sight. Out of mind. Get him out of here. We're gonna have to roll out here. It's gonna be a winning record for you guys. I got you guys. I got you guys all day. I got you guys. Do, do, do. Vroom, 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 vroom. He's gonna bring back out Cinco de Mayo Duck, Party Duck, and then Gash Donnie. It is over with. Dual Dragon Pulse and. No, wrong slot. Went through Dragon Pulse and Gastro. And then we're just gonna Bullet Punch. This Bullet Punch should be able to KO this. I don't even think I need the Bullet Punch. We have the tail one. He's gonna fake me out. How dare you? He's gonna fake me out. Bullet Punch gonna fly. Should be able to KO, right? Get this duck out of my face. Party duck, sorry. You're gone, but I'll invite you to my next party, alright? Dude just knows how to have fun. The dude just knows how to have fun. <laughs> it's great. Same thing, Gashon's, what's it gonna do? It's gonna go for Blizzard. That's not even gonna kill my Altaria. It is gonna kill my Altaria. That's a sad sight. Is it crit? It was not. I was just expecting. Actually, it's four times super effective. I should have known that. I forgot about the whole dragon flying situation for her, for Altaria. I was gonna say, that's not stab. We should just be able to soak that one up. But now we bring out Arcanine. It's over with. Bull Punch, Flamethrower. Two not very effective moves, but still. Enough to get the job done. Main Thrower. I probably should have went for Snarl. Would have been better. But Bull Punch should be able to take this thing out, no problem. Battle was canceled. There it is, yo. Winning record for you guys. What a set of battles for today's video. Grab yourself some winning record and showcase this team to its fullest potential. I love every single Pokemon on the team. We got Altaria, who's tons of fun to use. Choice Scar Gardevoir, who rocks out. Just great in most situations. And Mapalm, who is one of my favorites. Just so good with fake out control. There was some big damage all around. We got the Glide Score in there and then the Scissor and Arcanine. You guys already know how they work. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.